what is going on a1 gang today we're back with another video today we have a 2019 bmw x4 similar to like the um x6 as far as like the um the design but it's a lot smaller <laughs> It has like that sport back like look to it <clears throat> very beautiful uh, SUV very nice got the BMW LED lights As you can see it says BMW right there <clears throat> I was fine right before I started the video then <laughs> want to start coughing and everything else but uh we'll get through it i'm at the the end of my code so let's uh let's go ahead and start this beast up real quick and then we'll talk about the window sticker and uh everything else for you guys matter of fact i'm just gonna start up because i don't want to just get in there and just start revving it up like that out of nowhere so let's go ahead and We'll talk about the sticker too while it's warming up some so we can hear that exhaust note. It's not too much of an exhaust note, it's a 2.0 liter turbo engine, four cylinder. So I mean, it's not gonna have that much of a growl or anything. So right here, now you guys can't see it so I'm gonna read it off real quick. Just gonna be a quick rundown. Meanwhile, I'm gonna open up this door so you guys can, you know, have a look. So what we have is the Alpine white, which is the color of the vehicle. Then we have the black sense attack leather seats, which is what you guys are looking at now. We have the uh, driving assistance package, which is the active blind spot detection lane departure warning. Got 19 inch wheels on this vehicle as well. Wow, those don't look like 19s, but it says that they are on, according to this sticker right here. Got the sense attack, 19 inch wheel. There you have it. Active protection, LED fog lights, remote services, Apple CarPlay, enhanced Bluetooth and smartphone. Um, there you go. Total price is $53,635. So you got the 2.0 liter turbo, char twin turbo charged engine, four cylinder inline. And that's putting out 248 horsepower and 258 foot-pounds of torque. So there you have it. You're getting 22 in the city, 29 on the highway, 25 miles per gallon combined. And now that the car has been started for a quick sec, let's go ahead and give you guys this exhaust note real quick. Is, is not that much of exhaust note it's very quiet so <laughs> not too much to hear from it let's take a look underneath the hood real quick and uh take a look at those headlights as well too so very beautiful headlights with them on and the grill is an active shutter and right now it is closed when it gets up to operating range and everything it opens up cools the engine down Right underneath the hood, you got the twin turbo four cylinder in line. A lot of space underneath the hood, too. You got BMW signature with the dual, um, the dual hood locks right there, as well as you can see up there. So, it's no when you open up the hood, there's no, um, locking handle or anything that you got to pull you just pull up on the hood and it opens and then you just slam it down just like that and it closes and it locks both of them in place so you won't have to go out of your way to try to push down harder all right i found the blue and white one the gm thought it was so hot he's driving it <laughs> parked on the side i'll get the keys okay appreciate it 
So right here on the inside, that's my guy, uh, Eddie. You know, he helps us out here at the BMW dealership. Uh, that's my guy. That's all I can say. If y'all look for a car, come up here and ask for Eddie, man. Guy's a great guy. So right here, you got soft touch material. It's not leather or anything, but it is soft touch. You got the wood. I'm not sure if it's real. I'll leave that up to you guys. <laughs> But uh, no leather wrapped or anything, right? It's just soft touch materials. This feels leather, but it doesn't have the stitching or anything to it. But uh, $53,000, you know. <laughs> Need I say more? But let's go ahead and get in here real quick. We'll talk about the inside some more. And uh, just go over some of the features. So you got the thigh pad support right here. Typical seat buttons right here. Uh, memory seating power mirrors that folds in let's get in here real quick so $53,600 and some change is what this is you might as well round it up to $54,000 <sighs> do I think it's worth it mm. let's see do I think it's worth it I'm gonna go with a, a maybe I'm gonna go with a maybe on that one just because at $54,000, I don't like this wood right here. I, I'm not a big fan of shiny wood. That's just my opinion. If it would have been flat wood and I could see some deeper striations letting me know that it's real, I would have been fine with that. But it's just not enough luxury amenities in here at $54,000. That's just my opinion. So to each his own. And, Anything after uh, to, uh, this is just me. This is just how I feel. I don't know if everybody feels the same way I don't care what kind of car you in after forty thousand dollars like around a forty forty five thousand dollar mark These buttons right here. They have to be aluminum at that point because if you think about a forty five thousand dollars forty forty five thousand dollars You're gonna have a hefty car note to pay at any price you, you you're gonna be over the six hundred dollar mark i don't care what you what you're doing or anything unless you're the person that that like the lease but i'm not the person that that likes the lease i like to keep the car until shit till i get my money's worth you know that's just my opinion i'm getting my money's worth out of the car so if i'm i'm you know leasing leasing in my opinion i know with bmws is a, it's a good idea to lease just because maintenance and everything is covered and all of that good stuff but when you when you're driving another car as far as not a BMW or something like that, and you want to buy it, it's just leasing to me is just it's just a waste of money because you're in the ever-ending hole of having to buy a new car all the time, new car, two three years, two three years. That's just money that you you're never gonna own a vehicle at, at all. So why not just finance the vehicle, pay it off, keep it till you the wheels fall off of it basically, and then go buy another car at the end of the day because you not having to spend that money at the end of the day once your car is paid off. You not have to spend all of that money. Buy you some aftermarket warranties, keep the maintenance up, and you're good. Versus leasing where you just steady spending money, steady spending money for a car that's never going to be yours. That's just how I see leasing. Um, if you guys see it another way, please let me know. I, that's just my, my opinion on leasing. Right now, I actually have a lease, and I can't wait to turn that thing in. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of, of me leasing ever again. But uh, right here, you got the aluminum paddle shifters. Good job with that. That's what I'm saying. They, they could have just... It, it, it's not going to cost that much to, to do aluminum on these buttons. These, these are small buttons. I mean, that's just my... It, it just makes the car look so much better. Even if they didn't do aluminum, they could have did like this, uh, this look to it. Painted it that color and made it, you know... Just made it look so much better. Now, I, I give them this. This, this. this gauge cluster, very nice. Got the you can actually touch the, the trimming around the gauges too. You can touch all of this. It's an LCD screen back there that's digital. Um, it's a digital screen, you just got the hard, you know, things around it, but uh, it's very nice. So that's what I'm saying. 54,000. I mean, I would just see what, what other competitors have to have. I, I'm not sure exactly what this car or what this SUV goes up against, but I mean, you know what. As a matter of fact, I would, cause just because fifty-four thousand isn't bad for this, just because of the interior layout and everything. Cause when you think about a Cadillac charges, what I think I did a uh, XT5, Cadillac wants fifty-two thousand, and that was like a base model uh, XT5. There's no way in hell I would have paid fifty-two thousand dollars for that, and I'm a Cadillac fan. Like <laughs> I've I've grew up around Cadillacs and everything, but I couldn't do it for that. 
but um yeah man it is, it's, the interior is nice it's just some stuff that i mean you could have got a higher trim and maybe i'm not sure the trim levels in this this segment but um maybe with the different trims you probably get a leather stitch dashboard and all of that good stuff like that but who knows you got the dual climate control you got heated seats i don't see cool seats so that's the see you it's small things like that that you got to look at when you're looking at vehicles you see the heated seats right here no cooled seats i don't see any cooled seats you got the dual climate control do you have the gesture control in this vehicle no you don't have the gesture control so um this is your intelligent um safety system right here this is how you turn on all of your um safety features and everything basically so if a kid is running out the vehicle break itself the cruise control it'll break itself if it senses a car is in front of you you can't stop in time stuff like that it'll break itself um it does everything it has the apple carplay it has the, the the maps and everything like that uh let's take a look at the map if we can navigation is not active all right we know that um, maps looks very nice and updated it doesn't look old or anything like that it, it, it kind of look old when you zoom out like that but when you zoom back in looks nice then you know let you know that you're at the BMW dealership and shows you some stuff around it I mean it looks nice overall a simple easy to use system once you get used to it let me say that once you get used to it it's pretty cool um, is this this is a touchscreen too is very responsive i know some 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 cars they still have have you know where you can't touch the screen like as some lexuses you can't even touch the screen at all still um they just don't want you touching the screen they want you to use a little trackpad you can customize this you can move things around as you see i'm doing right now bam just like that pretty cool uh you got a cd player right here that's probably for your um your disc for your navigation nine times out of ten is probably not just because most maps are on a um, sd card so you got a cd player there though x4 um on a little thing down here you got some storage right here cup holders usb pocket um you got the 12 volt right here yeah man it's the interior is not bad. I, I like the interior. I, I I just don't like some of the materials that's used. But as far as the layout and everything, I love it. Like, I just wish this wood right here, they should have just continued it throughout over there to the other door. But, I mean, nonetheless, very gorgeous interior. Got the somewhat of a panoramic roof. Not too big because of obvious reasons the way the roof slopes. And you got this little mirror. BMW, stop doing this. Just give me a full-size regular mirror right here with the LED lights. You, you, <laughs> Mazda had the um, LED lights, as I mentioned before. <laughs> Very nice vehicle overall, though. I can't, I can't, there's no denying that. So when you get out the vehicle, you know, it shows, you can't do anything to this, this thing, which sucks, but um, you got the heated steering wheel. Also down here, you got sport, comfort, and uh, eco. So when you put in a sport mode, the gauges turn red, turns red right there, then you got a sport plus. Then you got the individual where you can change the throttle, all of that good stuff, the response. Then you got a comfort mode, which the gauges turn to like the regular color. Then you got eco where they turn blue. Just like that. And uh, let's see if we can get those. So this is your, your parking sensors and everything. It shows you what's around a vehicle. Right here, you got your camera. Nice crisp camera as well too. And it just shows you everything around the vehicle. It's very nice. Let's go ahead and get in the, um, the back seat real quick. Show y'all the headroom. Headroom, leg room, you know. Same materials on this back door that she was on the front door too. Very soft seats. Very, very soft. Let's get in here. Headroom is great. I'm back here chilling, man leg room is good like i said it's kind of a panoramic roof it's a modified like panoramic roof just because how the roof slopes as you can see how it slopes so they couldn't put a, a full size one because it would have messed up like the tracks or something like that but uh it's very comfortable back here you got the vents back here you got the climate control too uh, only thing that would have did it more if these seats would have been heated back here but uh you know there, there's always uh, room for options in these vehicles, so I'm pretty sure it's an option that you can add in a different trim package and all of that. 
So let's get out and uh, show you guys what's in here. So right there you got your cup holders. Opens up in a two piece configuration. And let's open up the uh, the tailgate or the hatch or whatever you guys would like to call this on this vehicle. Uh, let me get the key first. Just open that up and it opens up pretty quickly. And you don't get a spare tire on this because you know you got the BMW run flat tires. So you got the little storage organizer. Seats lay flat so you can have that much more of room. You got the cargo cover. And it also covers up the window too when it's, it's down. You just hit the button right here and it closes that up. And voila. And uh yeah man, I, I, I think yeah, 54 now now actually seeing it more. I think yeah, I think it's it's definitely justifiable and worth it. So the shutter still haven't opened up on the grill, which is weird to me, but it is what it is. I like the I like the sleekness to it. That's what I think it is too. It definitely doesn't look like anything else out there on the road. So, yeah, man, just like that, this video is over. I'm going to see you guys in the next, and thank you for watching. I'm gone.